Hi everyone. Today I'm going to go over how to create some of the required information in the setup window. When you start using Open Control, you'll need to create groups, categories, and more to assign to your items. The first step is going into the top left corner and clicking the gear icon for the settings. We can then go into the setup view. The first one we're going to go into is the account section. The accounts are used for integration between Optum Control and your accounting program. If you're planning on integrating Optum Control with your accounting software, you'll need to update the field called GL Account Reference with the account numbers from your accounting software. If you want to add or delete accounts or anything within the setup view, add and delete are always going to be at the top left and save is going to be at the top right. After accounts, we have our categories, inventory groups, and sales groups. Categories are going to be your groups of groups for use in filtering or looking at your reports, whereas the inventory and sales groups are going to be used for items and products respectively. For example, in the inventory group section, we have groups such as meat, produce, and bread that are all in the food category. When we go into the sales group, we see appetizer and dessert also assigned to the food category. We have some standard groups and categories created, but these can be edited as you need. Again, with the add in the top left, uh, as well as delete, and the save icon in the top right. The one thing we do suggest is with your sales groups that they match up with your POS system to ensure that the sales will match across the board. After the sales groups, we have the storage locations. Storage locations are used for inventory counting purposes. When you start setting up your items, you can assign items to the locations that they are located in. That way, when you're doing your counts, they'll show up once under each of its assigned locations. An item can be assigned to as many locations as you have set up. After the storage locations, we have your suppliers. This is where you're going to enter all the vendors that you purchase from. The only required field here is going to be the name of the supplier, but if you have the address and contact person, you can fill those out so that you have all the information in one place. The last section we're going to go into are the units of measure. The units of measures are used in setting up your items to indicate how you plan on purchasing them, versus how you plan on reporting on them, versus how you plan on using them in your recipes. We have a lot of the standard units already set up, such as some standard weight units of measure, volume units of measure, and some generic ones, such as case, bottle, and box, and of course your liquor bottles as well. If a unit of measure you want to use is not on the list, you can add them as you need. That is all of the required information you're going to need to fill your items. Thanks for watching.